guys, Hero of Essentials here. Today's video, I'm going to be starting off with foam boards. I'm going to be making a large wall lighting. So I'm going to be adding foam boards together to make it long. I'm going to use duct tape to hold them together. For this project, I'm going to need thick layer of foam boards. So I'm going to be adding another one. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is the thickness that I want. Now I'm going to be measuring out the pattern. I will advise that throughout this project, you use sharp X-Acto knife. The first set of cuts that I'm making is not going to go right down to the bottom. This is just to give me an idea of where the lines are. I'm going to try and make the lines more dominant using a ruler. I'm just doing anything I can to make sure that the lines can show even after I have applied mirror reflective paper on it. The sides seem rough, but that doesn't matter because all I need is just the one in the middle. I'm going to be attaching remote control LED strips in the middle. I'm going to keep the adapter aside and just attach the strips to the middle. And when I'm done with the project, I can then connect the adapter to turn on the lighting. I'll be making use of a funnel and cutting it into two, and that's going to be at the bottom of the design. I'll be making two lighting, so the other half is going to be for the second one. This is fabric that I got from Walmart and it comes in all kinds of colors. I got gold and silver. I'll be using just silver for this project. I cut it into two and then kept them aside. I'll be using a liner for the lighting. I'm going to cut this to size and then use it for the shape that I want for the lighting. This is not long enough, so I'm going to add a little piece over here. I measured and I'm drawing out a line that is two inches away from the actual lines. I'll be attaching the bottom part to the funnel that I just cut. I'm using a staple gun because glue is not going to hold these two together. The sides of the liner need to be inserted into the foam board. So I'm going to be using plastic sheet that I got from Home Depot and I'm going to cut them into strips and attach them to the sides. I turn it over and close the pins so that I don't hurt myself. I 
I cut off the excess sheets. I use duct tape to hold the parts that are attached together at the back. Now it's time to insert what I've just made into the foam boards, which means that I have to open up the foam boards right to the bottom. I'll use tape to hold both ends so that it doesn't open at the ends while I'm working on the project. I used hot glue to seal it in. When I was done, I trimmed off the excess with a pair of scissors. Now my fabric is going to be attached to the top using a hot glue gun just to keep it in place for now. And then I'm going to be using Mod Podge all over it and then crush mirror glass on top of it. I'm sprinkling very little crush mirror glass because I don't want it to be all over. I just want it to be dotted around. Next, I'm going to use glitter around it. I'll be using the spray adhesive over it. Much later, I decided to add silver glitter. I love the way this looks already. And don't worry about the white patches. It's definitely going to be there because it's still wet. When it's dry, you won't see it at all. I left it overnight to dry. And this is what it looks like. I only need 1.5 inches on both sides of my design. So I trimmed off the excess. But then this part here, I made it into a square that's going to be for a shade. I'll be using a postal board and covering the edges with a mirror tape that I got from Michael's craft store. I would like to see what the lamp looks like with this shade on it, like this. And I'll also like to see what it's going to look like with this glitter foam sheet. I bent the sides of the poster board and then I'm going to be gluing the sides and attaching it to the square that I have here. At the back, I attached the excess foam board that I cut out to make it thick enough because of the plastic sheet that I had at the back. And I glued on a hook for hanging. This is what it looks like when it's not turned on. And it's so beautiful when the lights are on. I needed something bold on the wall. And this does everything. Because it kind of looks like an artwork. And it also provides lighting. And here's what it looks like with the glitter foam sheets. The lights can be off or on and it would still look pretty on the wall. They're 57 inches tall and it really makes a bold statement on the wall. I 
I really hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.